In this video, we are going to review the various options in the Screen Resolution tool. To open Screen Resolution, right-click the desktop and then click Screen Resolution. In Windows 8.1, if you're in the Metro mode, click the Windows icon in the bottom left corner to change to the desktop or press the Windows key on your keyboard. Depending on your setup, you may have different options than what appear in this example. Here we see that two monitors are connected. Detect will look for additional monitors, and Identify will show large numbers on each connected screen to see which displays correspond to the thumbnail images shown here. The display line shows the currently selected monitor, which is also denoted by a blue border on the images above. To select a different display, click the drop down arrow and select the other monitor. The resolution line allows you to select the screen resolution. There is generally one setting marked as recommended because it provides the optimal resolution and sharpness. Orientation enables you to control how the images appear on your screen. In this example, the default selection is landscape. The other options are shown by clicking the drop down arrow. If you switch to the portrait orientation and click Apply, you can see that the screen tips sideways. To keep this setting, click Keep Changes. Otherwise, click Revert or wait 15 seconds and the screen will revert back to the landscape orientation. If you have more than one monitor connected to your computer, you will see each of those monitors in the images at the top as well as the line Multiple Displays. Extend these displays will allow you to have two displays independent of one another. When you move the mouse off of one screen, it appears on the other. Duplicate these displays will show the same images on all connected screens. This can be useful if a projector is hooked up to your computer and you want to see the same images on both the computer and the projector screen. Show desktop only on one and show desktop only on two will show images on only one screen and black out the other screen. You may see the option, Allow the screen to auto-rotate. This is useful if you are using a tablet and you want the screen to automatically adjust from landscape to portrait mode as you rotate it. Advanced settings allows you to see additional information about your video card, monitor, and so forth. We will not go into details about these options. If you are running multiple displays, the line below Multiple Displays will state which display is your main display. If you want to switch, select an additional monitor by clicking the thumbnail at the top or selecting it from the display line, and then click the checkbox next to Make This My Main Display. A few additional settings may appear in blue text. Connect to a projector will bring up the Projector Options menu. For more information, see the video Connect to a Projector. Make text and other items larger or smaller changes to a new window. In this example, text and other items can be enlarged to 125% of their normal size if you prefer. Click the back arrow or click Adjust Resolution to go back. Finally, what display setting should I choose opens a help window that provides more in depth information about your computer's display. When finished making changes, click OK to save your changes or click Cancel. In this video, we reviewed the various options in the Screen Resolution tool. The show notes for this video are available by clicking the link below the video. Please help to support HelpfulVideoTips.com by subscribing to this YouTube channel and visiting HelpfulVideoTips.com to follow along on social media. I'm Tom Sutton. Thank you for watching.